This video is dedicated to the late Philip Hughes, whose 26th birthday is today. May you rest in peace, brother. For cheap and reliable coins, check out buyultimateteam.com. Use the code CURTIS for 10% off. Check the link in the description. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Curtis 7 here for episode number 4 of season 2 of my Manchester United career mode. And today, lads, we've got transfer deadline day. Massive news last episode, lads. Uh, Robert Van Persie's gone to Arsenal. Uh, that was, wasn't was my decision, the board sold him, but we got a pretty good uh, coin for that. We got 38 and a half million pounds for that, which is not too bad at all. But also, in great news as well, uh, we had a bid accepted from Everton, so we are going to go ahead right now and sign Ross Barkley, who has accepted the offer. So there we go. So uh, let's continue with the transfer deadline day. So the first transfer offer comes from MK Don to one Andres Pierre on loan for the season. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. So now that we've sold Robin Van Persie and we've bought Ross Barkley, I've still got a lot of money left in the bank. Now I don't want to go out and make any rash decisions because let's be honest guys, 34 million, I can go out and buy a superstar with that kind of money. But I don't think we need a superstar right now. Um, I would love still to get Radamel Falcao back. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I could go buy somebody else, but I don't want to make any rash decisions. But there will be one player that I will uh, go and buy as a squad player, as a backup for Luke Shaw. And his name is Jetro Williams. This guy has got showing great potential. So we're going to offer PSV three and a half million. <laughs> Just to inform you, PSV have received a bid of four and a half million from Schalke for Jetro Williams. All right, so we better up the ante there for Jetro. So now that we've got money up our sleeve, I'm just gonna offer five million straight, and uh, hopefully PSV accept that. Hopefully there's enough time in there. Running down the hours now, four hours. I'm not too sure if there's enough time left. <laughs> Running out of time. I don't think we're going to have enough time to sign him. There we go. We do not have enough time to sign him. So with an hour to go, they've accepted. But we're just going to run out of time now. I don't think we're going to sign Jetro. There we go. Their transfer deadline day has ended. And we did not buy Jetro Williams. Not the end of the world. Because we can play daily blind at left back if need be. But I didn't really want to do that. I only wanted to play daily blind in the midfield. But uh, that's the way the transfer deadline day has ended, fellas. So uh, let's get on to the next game. Which is a Capital One Cup game up against QPR at home. So in this Capital One Cup game. I'm going with the youth players plus Nani basically. Uh, Wilson, Yanazai, Zaha, Nani, Fletcher, Nicky Powell, uh, Keane, Stones, Raphael, and Johnston. So, uh, pretty decent team, but at the same time, definitely full of youth players. Uh, five minutes, world class. You know the deal. All right, let's come down to Nani. Nani with a bit of space. What can Nani do? He's created something. Surely that's a foul referee. It's a free kick. All right, going to get Nani to take this free kick. Up and over the wall, lad. Oh, Nani! No! He missed it! Oh, mate, I thought I scored. <laughs> I felt my controller vibrate. hit the post, and it went like... It looked like he hit the post. Oh, Nani. Nice back heel. Yanazai puts in Nani. What can Nani do? He's created some room here. He's got some pace about him. Come on, Nani. Oh, that time, Nani finishes. Mate, get in. There was no mucking about from Nani that time. They are all, oh my gosh, left foot. He struck that really, really well with his left foot. Oh my word, what a goal. Get it out, get it out, get it out. No, Leroy Fur. Who is there? Who's stopping that? Oh my God. That's just terrible defending there. 1-1. One, one. Oh, no. Jordan much over the top. Good tackle from Kane. On your Kino. Oh, lovely bit of play. Yenazai puts in Wilson. Come on, James. Get in. James Wilson. What a finish, lad. Yes. Tell you what, he's in a bit of a scoring streak here, James Wilson. Don't worry about that. I'll definitely be, uh, he'll be definitely me thoughts for promotion for that first team. But I tell you what, what a through ball from Adnan Yenazai as well. 
get in James Wilson. Robert Van Persie, who? Wilson, he's got the legs, he's got the pace, knocks it down, goes for the chip. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's terrible. No! I was just concentrating. Ah, <sighs> Sandro, out of all players, my word. The ex Tottenham man. He's made it to all. Jeez. What can he do? Wilson cuts on the inside. Have a crack, son. Wilson! What a save from Marshall. Come on, lads. Let's create something here. Zaha. Can you get a good ball in, lad? Come on, Zaha. Oh, lovely. Look at Wilson. Wilson! Wilson grabs the winner! <laughs> Gets in, lad. 90th minute. James Wilson steps up. And grabs the winner. Oh my word, James Wilson. James Wilson, you superstar. There we go, full time whistle is blown. We've grabbed all three points. Well, there is no three points in a cup game, is it? But we're through to the next round. Get in. Now, for those of you who are wondering when am I going to give Ross Barkley his debut, well, he's actually got a torn calf muscle, so he's going to be out for three more weeks, So, uh, which is a shame, but I knew that when buying him. So uh, hopefully he gets all fit, nice and healthy, so when he comes into the team, he'll be fighting and rearing to go. So the next game is back in the Barclays Premier League. We're at home to Fulham. Five minutes world class. You know the deal. Finds Di Maria. What can Angel do? Di Maria gets in behind the defense. Come on. Oh, what a save. Oh my word, that should be 1-0. All right, we've got endless options here for this free kick, but I've got one player in mind. Wayne Rooney. Oh, it deflected off the wall. It's gone out for a corner. Rooney with the corner. Who's in there? Herrera. It's come out to Vidal. Oh. De Maria with the corner. Come on, lads. Hummels! Hummels! Gets his first goal for Manchester United. Get in! Mats Hummels! What a lovely corner from Angel De Maria. And what a lovely finish. Mate, you're not going to see too many better headers than that. Oh, no. No. Hugo Rodriguez scores with the first chance Fulham have in this whole freaking game. It's exactly what happens when you don't take your chances. Jeez. Rooney. Hernandez over the top. Oh, he's offside. I didn't want Adnan. He's offside. Is he on? He's offside. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Back to Vidal. Come on. Who's there? Hernandez. Get it back to Herrera. And to Herrera. Oh, I thought I scored. Ah, oh, that is frustrating. How have we drawn to Fulham? This is the, the reason why I don't like the rain. We have dropped two vital points today. <sighs> frustrating. My gosh. So I said to you guys in the last episode that I will reveal the group for the Champions League. And our group, here it is, lads. We've got Zenit St. Petersburg. We've got Inter Milan. And we've got Rosenberg uh, as well. Which is a decent group. It's not easy. Zenit are a very good team. Andre Villas Boas is the coach. They got Hulk and Danny from Portugal. Very good, very good team. And we've got Inter Milan, who are now obviously uh, famously coached by uh, Roberto Mancini. So, uh, yeah, so uh, it's not going to be easy, but I think, lads, being Manchester United, we would probably be favourites. Should be favourites. Well, we are favourites. <laughs> so the next game is in the Champions League. We're at home to Inter Milan. All right, that's five minutes world class. You guys know the deal. Here we go. Back in the Champions League. Come on, United. Let's go. Herrera, look at this. Yeah, Adnan's got some room here. Adnan, can you get it back on his left foot? Come on, Adnan, hit it! Oh, what a save! Great start, lads, great start. Rooney, nice back heel. Strootman. What? Shit! Oh my god, I'm just gonna go off my head, but I kept my cool. What a shit pass from Strootman. And I'll tell you what, if we can see this, I'm gonna think about selling Strootman, because he's been terrible lately. Oh no, I'm caught out here. I'm caught out. Come on, De Gea. Oh, what a save from Dave! Mate, what a save from De Gea. Unbelievable. 
Alright, nobody helping out. Dean Maria. Oh, what a pass. Strootman. Oh, no. It's alright. It's not bad. It's coming out to Rooney. Hit it, son. Win a corner. Oh, it's come out. Dean Maria. Oh, what a save. Just by the skin of there. Tief Handovic. Oh, no. It's come out to Gary Meadow. Gary Meadow. <gasps> that was close. Strootman. Rooney. It's Rooney. Rooney. Rooney! Get in, Waza! Yes! Oh, we needed that goal. And it was none other than Nemanja Vidic that he ripped to score that one. I think it was Vidic anyways. Standing in the middle there. Oh, but who cares? Wayne Rooney off the inside of the post. Nice goal. Get in, Waza. We can hold on. Press, press, Hernandez. Press. Come on. Oh, let's go. On the break. Oh, Hernandez. Oh, come on. Javier Hernandez. Finish. Hernandez. Give it over. One more. Vidal. No. Nani with the chip. Oh, my gosh. What do I have to do to score? Oh, who cares? The whistle has gone. God, how did I not score there at the end? I should have hit it first time. Even Nani and Vidal are arguing about it. But what do you do, lads? We got all three points. That's the main thing. So if we check out the Premier League table, we only played one match in this uh, fixture, in this episode, and we did get a draw to Fulham, which is not good at all. But as you can see, we've only played four games, which is nothing at all. Now, as we check the Champions League table here, lads, we're second on the table because Zenit beat Rosenberg 2-0, so only by goal difference that we're not on top, but that could be a vital three points there. But anyways, lads, that's going to come to the end of this episode. I hope you liked it. And if you have, could you do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. Give it a like. And uh, don't forget to follow me on, uh, on Facebook and Twitter. Hit me up on there, lads. Uh, follow me on Instagram and any other thing. I'm your boy, Curtis Evans. Stay tuned to the next episode. Take care. Then puts.